Hi everyone, you're welcome to Deliver Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about Firebase phone number authentication. This allows users to sign into an app by providing a phone number. After the phone number has been entered, Firebase sends an SMS message to that number containing a one-time code that must be entered within the app to sign in. We're actually going to stretch on the studio and I will be dissecting the Firebase phone number authentication source. So let's get started. But before you continue, you need to actually uh, enable the phone authentication from your Firebase console. You are right there on the Firebase console. If you notice, I have the email uh, enabled, Google enabled. Now, we'll, if you should see the uh, phone, it's enabled. This is just how to get that done. Uh, on the edit button, you just uh, toggle the enable uh, button so you have that done and uh, you can easily uh, follow some steps uh, based on the platform you are trying to build on iOS, Android or web. So you have to save this and uh, we head straight to Android Studio to actually see how to create the structure and integrate that with Firebase. Right then in Android Studio, we head straight to the big gradle first. Uh, you need to include some dependencies, the UI, Firebase UI or UI auth, if you're actually using the, the UI uh, that is built out, out of the box from Firebase. But we're actually going to be uh, designing our own UI, so you don't uh, actually uh, bother yourself about that. So you only need Firebase art if you really want, if you want to design your UI, but if you are using the, the Firebase UI, you have this dependence as well. In the activity main, uh, let's get to look at how these uh, look. If you should notice, we have a layout that has uh, a field of phone number, uh, a button to send the code, another button to resend the code, probably you didn't get it, and uh, an input field to actually lock in your code, and the verify code button to get you signed in, and your sign out button. So let's get to, let's get to look at uh, the structure of this XML. It's wrapped around the constraint layout. We should be familiar with that if you're using Android Studio 2.3 upwards. We have the text view uh, that uh, speaks uh, the status text, which is sign out at default. Uh, we have an edit text, which takes the phone number, as I've said earlier. Uh, we have a button to send a button, and it has uh, an on-click listener, which uh, actually pushes down to the send code method. We have another button that resends uh, that resends the code. That's the phone, uh, the code that will be sent to your phone number. And uh, we have an on-click listener to that too, which uh, triggers the resend code method. And then an edit text follows underneath uh, that uh, actually uh, gives you the room to input uh, the code you got from your phone, which is in an input type of number. And uh, we did some constraints uh, around it to actually make it sit appropriately. And it has an idea of code text. We have a button to verify the code that you actually lock into the edit text and it triggers the onclick verify code method. The last button here is the sign out button after you might have logged in successfully and you want to sign out of the uh, app or something. So you have that set up so that uh, gives us the layout of this uh, demo and I'll uh, be heading straight to your main activity which is the class and let's get to look at what we have right there this extends an app compact activity and uh, it has the fields the fields we used in the xml we need to declare them here the phone text the code text the verify button send button the resend button the sign up button and the status text we have the phone verify the verification id this is a string uh, field and uh, we also have the ver verification callbacks this is from the phone auth provider which is different from the google provider and others the Twitter, the Facebook, this is a phone authentication provider. We also have a token, a token to actually uh, from the auth provider as well. And we will always have our Firebase auth, which is the Firebase authentication. In our create method, we set the content view to the layout activity main that I've just like, talked about. And we initialize all fields to add their appropriate IDs. Now let's get to look at the way we uh, handle the button. We set enabled to the verify button to be false as at launch uh, to the recent button as well to be false 
to the sign out button as well to be false and we set the text to the, set, the status text to be signed out at default we need to initialize the uh the fb auth uh getting the instance of the firebase auth so that sets up the onCreate method now let's get to look at the methods that will be called from each button this is the same code which is actually going to send the code to your phone number which is right running your device we have a phone number variable this is a string variable which get the text and convert to string from the phone text which is the edit text of the phone this actually gets the value you passed into it and we trigger a method called set up verification callbacks we get to look at what that method is going to do and uh, from the phone auth provider we get the instance we verify the phone number you have to verify the phone number probably it's a, a real or a complete phone number and uh, we pass in a few parameters the phone number to verify the timeout duration that should be an elapsed time and the timeout is actually going to be in seconds which is the unit and this which is the activity in question and the verify callbacks uh, stands as the last parameter to hold on to uh, the verification of the phone number so we have the set up ver the set of verification callbacks let's get to look at what that's doing we have the verification callbacks as uh, the variable here which we are instantiating with a phone out provider which calls on the on verification state change callbacks and you have to override some methods after this in this callback the first method is the on verification completed and the second is the on verification field if, if it's completed as successful and if it's if, if it failed so on completion the sign up button will be enabled true because now it has been signed in because that's a successful uh, callback and the set text to the status will be signed in the recent button will be at first and the verify button we don't need that will be at first and the code text will uh, be empty and you trigger the sign in with phone out credential and you pass in those credentials just really sign you in with the phone authentication credential and on verification field you have a field callback uh you first of all check the exception instance which is for, for from the firebase set exception if the instance is of the firebase out invalid credentials exception you are going to log that to tag that's to the console that and you get the kind of error that actually came out so that's on the code sent that's yes, after you might have locked in the real code you got from the uh phone and uh you are trying to send the code uh, what are you going to happen we have some parameters the verification id there's a string and the token which is from the phone out provider that's first the resending token and let's get to, to see how we initialize the fields the verification id will pass them pass it to the phone verification id we've actually uh, specified uh up there phone verification id over here of it somewhere so and the same thing goes to the recent token and now we set the enable to the verify button to be true and the send button to be false and the recent button now to be true so these are just the state of the button at uh, a present time of running each particular chunk of method the verify code let's verify the code after you might have sent the code there will be a verification to actually happen this takes the field of the code text convert that to, to, to string and pass it to the code string and this time it's passed in as a parameter the second parameter to get the credential with a phone verification id uh which actually has it right there in the credential which is the phone out credential and now you pass that same credential as a parameter to sign in with the phone out credential so that's going to be the parameter now now the sign in with the phone out credential is a method which is a private void method and actually going to actually make the sign in as well uh this actually takes in test if the tax is successful the set the sign in the sign out button is going to be set to enable definitely you signed it so that's what this is all doing over here now it's going to get the result and get the user in question and it's going to pass it to the user firebase so you might use this further in your application so that you have an object of the user which has the result of that user when you resend the code probably uh you when uh you are trying to you didn't get the message on your phone or phone and uh, you need to resend so this is actually going to be triggered it's still the same thing is still going to get the phone text from the edit text pass to string save it as a variable call the setup verification callbacks and then still pass the parameters that we need to verify the phone number uh, the elapsed time the units in seconds this the activity and the verification callback and now the resend token 
you need a resend token at this point in time to actually resend uh, that uh, verification uh, code. On sign out, the Firebase Auth uh, object will, will trigger the sign out, so it's actually going to disconnect and uh, set the text to the, the, status, the status text to be signed out. Uh, the sign out enabled will be false and the send button now can be true because you can easily uh, go through this process one more time. So that's finish up the, 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 the phone verification and I'll actually be showing a screencast of how you're going to uh, how I actually did this as just a test, a demo test and I'll also be uploading the source code to my GitHub so that you can easily pick it from there use phone verification in your application seamlessly with a few lines of code you have that set up so thank you guys for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial and please please don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a blessed time bye bye